we would need some empty masking tape rolls or any tape roll and a few brushes I'm going with a flat filbert and a round brush and acrylic or chalk paints of your choice and a circular MDF board and some glue take the empty masking tape rolls stack them one over the other and apply some glue on the outer edge and stick them well give it a press and leave it for some time now take the MDF coaster board and cut it to the size of the masking tape rolls using a pen knife and then apply glue on all edges of the MDF board and then take the rolls that you have already stuck and give it a good press placing it over the coaster leave it for some time until it dries completely now take more rolls if you want and stack them again by applying glue on all edges of the masking tape roll you could also use normal cello tape rolls for this give it a good press and allow it to dry for some time you could just dab your fingers over the excess glue there or leave it as such. Now take some white paint, white acrylic paint or gesso and apply two thick coats over the complete setup. Allow it to dry fully before we go over the other layers. Ensure that the white is even and it makes the surface opaque so that other colors can show through well on the medium. Allow it to dry completely. Now I am taking some cobalt blue and white and mixing them together. You could also go for a cerulean blue if you have it. This will give a nice tone for the sky. Once you are done mixing the colors well, take the paint and apply all through the surface of the stand. You could go for an even wash or you could also give a gradient sky. I have used a gradient sky over here and this is how it looked after it was completely painted using blue color. Next you could take some white, you could either use titanium white or Chinese white and using a filbert brush I am dabbing it all over the top of the stand. This will create the cloud effect. You could also use a round brush and go over it in a circular motion to achieve the same effect. You could dab as much as you want, as many clouds as you want on the top. Give the clouds a nice round edge so that they look fluffy and beautiful. You could add more layers on top to bring the 3D effect. Once you're done with the clouds, take some sap cream and mix it with a little bit of white. We shall be using multiple tones of green for the grass. Now take a round brush and take it in an upward motion from the bottom to create the grass effect using the green. Do it throughout on all sides of the stand. Once this is done, I went in with a layer of white random grasses here and there to give some depth to the grass. You could leave the grass as is or here I am using some viridian and going in with a second layer of grass to increase the depth of the grass. 
place your brush strokes randomly here and there do not have them crowded in one place next i'm going in with a mixture of sap green and some yellow to increase the vibrancy and depth for the grass part you could leave this layer if you like it as such again i'm going upward strokes using a round brush for the grass this is how it looks at the end of adding yellow green grass Finally, we can add some florals to make the painting more interesting. I'm taking some orange and just having a few dabs of the paint in a circular motion. Now I'm going in with some more petals using a mix of pink and white. Finally, I have added some more yellow flowers and then you could place the center part of the flower using white color. Also, remember to create green stalks for each of the flowers to make them look realistic. And that's it, we've created a beautiful brush stand for ourselves from scratch. Thank you so much for watching.